सो लेट्स टुडे सी सेक्शनल ऑर्थोग्राफिक प्रोजेक्शन लेट्स सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम नाउ सेक्शनल ऑर्थोग्राफिक प्रोजेक्शन इज ऑर्थोग्राफिक प्रोजेक्शन बाय कंसीडरिंग सेक्शन ऑफ द गिवन ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर एग्जांपल लेट्स से आई हैव वन ऑब्जेक्ट like this and i am cutting this object along this line by a cutting plane so that means along this aa i am cutting the object and i have to draw the orthographic projections this is the direction given for front view so it, now for this as the section plane is given here perpendicular to the viewing direction of front view we will draw sectional front view then you can draw left hand side view and top view so while drawing the front view i have to imagine that this object is cut along this line and then how it how it appears so here i am drawing a rough sketch of this object after cutting how it will look like and by this h i am showing that this surface is being cut now i have to imagine this part while drawing the front view which is called sectional front view so if i draw the orthographic projections of this part the front view will be like this but the top view and side views will be by considering the full object so this is top view and let's say the left hand side view will be here okay so i will say this is sectional front view this is left hand side view and this is top view so this way i need to solve the problems of sectional orthographic projection while drawing the sectional views we have to show the section lines in the section surface and the section lines can be at 45 degree at 30 degree or at 60 degree and the distance between two section line should be uniform throughout so with this information let us solve one simple problem of orthographic uh, sectional orthographic projection so let's take uh, the same problem which we solved for uh, orthographic projection in the last lecture and uh, now we are considering that this object is being cut along this cutting line and we have to draw its sectional front view left hand side view and top view so first of all i will draw a rough sketch how the object will look like after section
okay so this is how the object will look like rough sketch of how the object will look like after the section okay so now let's draw the sectional front view of this object so first of all i can start by drawing this semicircle and this circle So the radius of the semicircle will be it is given 25 so we have drawn this semicircle and from that we have to draw these lines and then this vertical line so I can draw okay actually I am drawing this line and the dimension the length of this line is 25 that we can see from here so this is 25 so I can draw a line 25 mm and then I can draw the vertical line and the length of the vertical line will be equal to this diameter but then we will be also able to see this line so that length will be that we can check it out here so from this point to this point okay and no not up to that point so but from that point this point to we have to move down up to this that means from here to here So this distance would be actually this is 50 plus this. So if this total is 20, this is 10. So this is also 10. So 50 plus 10, we have to move down. here it should be 60 up to this and I can connect this semicircle to this line so now we have this line with us from that we can draw this line and we can draw this section actually this distance is given 20 so we can draw 20 mm from here and what will be this length so for that we have to check out that will be 50 equal to this right so that will be 50 so from here I have to measure 50 mm that I have to measure 20 mm okay. 
so now I can match this and this lines so I have made this shape which is a section so I have to draw section lines inside it and I am drawing the section lines at 45 degree it should not go out of the shape So approximately I am drawing all these section lines at equal distance. So this way I will show that this surface is the section surface. Now we have to draw this triangular surface which is known as rib and we don't need to show section lines within the rib even if it is being sectioned. So I will just make this triangular shape without the section lines now other than that I will be able to see this edge also which is coming out from this corner so that I will show here and for that I will check out what will be the distance of that so here it is clearly given this is 10 so from this point it should be Now let's make this circle with the radius 10 mm. Other than that, there will be hidden line for this shape which is on the other side and not visible. So we have to draw one more semicircle having 15 mm radius. But that should be represented by dashed lines.
so with this the sectional front view of this object is done okay i am not drawing the top view and left hand side view because it will remain as it is as we discussed in the last lecture so in any of the sectional orthographic projection problem other than the view which we are cutting by a section plane all the other views will remain full views without section here also if i want to draw the top view i have to draw the top view by considering the full object and side view also by considering the full object okay so i think this is uh, enough for uh, this pro particular problem of sectional orthographic projection and the important points of sectional orthographic projections are we have to first locate the cutting plane with, which will be shown by this type of symbol so that gives us the idea about from where we have to cut the object after that we have to decide which view will be having the section it may be sectional front view it may be sectional top view it may be sectional side view after deciding that we have to imagine that after section how the object will look like so for that we can draw this type of rough sketch and then we have to start drawing the sectional view and other than that we have to draw the views by considering the full object wherever the surfaces are being cut by the section plane we have to show this type of section lines which can be at 30 degree 45 degree or 60 degree and all these lines should have uniform distance in between other than that i have not shown section line in this rib portion because this is a supporting wall known as rib and we don't show section line in that surface even if it is being cut we will not show the section line in that dimensioning you have to give normally as you give in the problem of orthographic projection so these are the important points regarding sectional orthographic projection and we are i am concluding the lecture over here